Russ, when did you start smoking weed? Uh, I think I was like, um, <clears throat> I started late, like 25. <laughs> no way. Are you <laughs> really? Yeah, really? Like I did real not shit. expect that. Really? Like I was expecting you like, yo, I was eight years old, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, I, well, after I came out of Pampers, I rolled my first blunt. Yeah. Nah, I was like 25, man. Was it like, after? You said you were in the military, right? Yeah, when I got what out service of the service. What service were you in? Army. Army? For how long? I was in for six years. Oh, damn. Really? Yeah. Damn, so you couldn't smoke. So I. Yeah, so but I, it wasn't even something I, I wanted to really do. Like yeah. I don't know, it's it it, it was just it, I just wasn't into it. But when I got out, um, I think I remember. I never forget. I remember um, Cream the Wu Tang video. Yeah, <laughs> um, and I would just remember watching them, and they were just smoking all the blunts, and yep. and I was like, I wonder what all the hubbub about. Yeah, what's so, up with these blunts? Yeah, what's up with the blunts? <laughs> and we used to have these ones we used to smoke called, Cari uh, ri uh, we used to call them ribbies, Caribbeans. Yeah. I don't know if you remember, they was real long. You put nah. like a fucking seven grams in them. <laughs> yeah. It'd be like 19 dudes smoking it, but it would last. Like, yeah, yeah. So I, they call it a cipher. Yeah. So I got in a cipher. I was like 25. I was a grown-ass man, yeah. though, really. Who, are, who are all the other people like? Yeah, like... um. Actually, it was my uh, best friend's little brother. He was like 19 or yeah, something. He yeah, was yeah, a yeah. fucking kid. He was like, listen, you got to start getting high, bro. <laughs> he told you that? Like, you too uptight and <laughs> shit. Like, relax. Like, you out the army now, man. Yeah. Fuck that shit. Yeah. Smoke. So I'm like, nah, man, I, don't, I never smoke. So actually, my best friend, little brother, yeah. got me high for the first time. Uh -huh. And he rolled a blunt. And uh, I was 25. And I was like, Where was it at? In the, on the basement of his grandmother house, um, I had did something for his grandmother, and he had came over. He was like, <coughs> "Listen, I'm gonna hit this blunt." Yeah, yeah. Come to the basement. Mm -hmm. So I hit it, coughing, snotting, almost throwing up. Yeah, hell yeah. Like, uh, I love this shit though. So <laughs> <laughs> immediately, <laughs> yeah. Then yeah. the bags, you got so much back then. Yeah. So I started smoking. I was 25. Yep. And my wife at the time, she she hated it. Like she Really? Like, yeah. She was like, was why, did, why didn't she like it? She was like, it's a gateway drug. I'm like, oh, I don't okay. think I'm going to be smoking coke next week. I just saw <laughs> smoking weed. I'm only 25. I'm right. good. I think like, I'll be all right. Yeah. yeah. That was pretty good. Yeah. So she didn't like it. She was like, I hate the smell and all that. I was like, man, fuck that. I'm smoking it. So that was an issue, but yeah, I waited a long time to start smoking, man. But why didn't you smoke it. when you were a teenager? Was there a reason? I was more sexually active, like, <laughs> like for real. I was <coughs> pussy was my weed. Okay. Like yeah, like I I wasn't into like you know you remember the I don't know if you remember the after school special commercials would be a kid to bear from like want to get high. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No one oh, ever yeah. even offered me drugs. Maybe I would have smoked if someone to offer, but I was just more sexually active. Okay. Like, that was my thing. I wasn't really. Okay, it's not what I expected to hear. No, no, I just wasn't in the good high. excuse though. I'm not yeah, gonna lie, man. Like <laughs> yeah, I'm with yeah. you. I, like no, not that that was better. I could have had a baby and shit. So if you didn't smoke till 25, how mm. old were you with your first sexual experience? No. Twelve. <laughs> Yeah, I've been, oh, I've been digging for a while. Oh, I, I was 12. That's why you said you didn't expect that. I probably mm -hmm. would have been safer smoking weed than having sex with an unprotected uh, teenage girl. Girl, yeah. Uh, you know, at that time. But, yeah, like, I would go into rough neighborhoods and shit. I remember one time I got trapped in a house in the projects uh -huh. going to see a girl. Because oh, yeah. all the girls belong to the projects. Like, when you yeah. go to the projects, they're like, even if they're not dating her. Yeah. She just belonged to the project. This one's ours. Yeah. Yeah. So I wasn't from there. Okay. But yeah, I would take them chances to to go fuck. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was that. Yeah. You know, I just impressive. I just read something on the internet that was like, you know, telling guys like never go to the girl's house because like she might have baby daddies or ex boyfriends. Like you never know who's creeping around that's like ready to cause you some problems, right? Yeah. If she live, I I researched a bitch zip code quick in Baltimore. Like, <laughs> oh God, your zip code in the blot of bitch shit be happening around there. It was, <laughs> a new, it was a news crew in your neighborhood recently. <laughs> no, nah, you gotta meet me in a neutral area, yeah, like yeah. downtown Baltimore. I pick you up from there. Right. Yeah, you don't go to everybody's house. Like an area like Cherry Hill and Baltimore, yeah. they. They get shot to death out there. Picking no matter up where you girls. go in the country, Cherry Hill always seems to be a questionable area. It's always called Cherry Hill for some reason. Right? Like, there's one in New Jersey. 
right? There's one in Chicago, I think. Minneapolis, even, maybe. And it's always fucked up. It's like Martin Luther King Boulevard. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Wherever you go to MLK Boulevard, you're not, you're not safe. You know, he's a great leader, but you in danger. Right. At that point. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I've been on the, uh, that one in uh, Milwaukee. Milwaukee. Uh, I've been, I actually was just on that one in uh, San Diego like three days ago. Really? Actually. Yeah. Yeah. I was wow. just on the way to a hotel. Was it ugly, though? Mm. Cherry Hill, was it? Yeah, well, it wasn't like. Would you have got out and went to the store? No, nah, it, it was like a homeless problem there, though. It wasn't oh, like. Fuck. It didn't seem like dangerous. It's just a lot of homeless tents and shit like that. You know what I mean? You know what I don't understand about the homeless? I know it's a little off. And listen, I'm not being heartless, but can I say this? Can I communicate this? Please. Can I put this in the atmosphere? Please, listen, if you go hold a sign asking for money, why you don't get a job holding a sign? <laughs> right. I'm, that's not even a joke. Like, I'm being dead ass serious. Right. If you going to hold a sign asking me to give you my hard-earned <coughs> money, why don't you get a job that they pay people to hold a fucking sign? Right. It just depends on how much you make, like, just, like, holding your own sign versus somebody else's sign. You but think you they do the math? Do they though. do the math? Because, like, maybe you make, like, 15 bucks an hour holding, like, a pizza place's sign, right? <coughs> so you make, like, a couple hundred bucks in a day. But am I in a position if I'm living out of a shopping cart? I'm throwing it out. Like, right. I feel like I'm being picky at that point, Jake. If I can be honest, I'm yeah. homeless. Yeah. I, I might be overanalyzing park. it, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think for you to be like, fuck your job, I'd rather beg. I think it's a bit irresponsible, but... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't get me wrong. You're responsible. But it, but it, it could be. But, you know, shout out to the homeless, man. I mean... It's a bold move. It's a bold move, man. But, yeah, you... It's 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 rough, though, um, out there. But that's usually when you smoke and something more than weed. Yeah, that'll do it. That'll you do stay it. with weeds, you keep a job, yeah. normal life. Mm-hmm. You don't see too many homeless, just pot smokers. Oh, he just smoke pot. He, smoke. Right. he ain't pay his mortgage because he. <laughs> it just you know <laughs> right. anyway, you gonna go to sleep before you fuck up your mortgage money. So, mm-hmm. I mean, weed is great. I'm glad that they should legalize it mm-hmm. for everyone. We're getting close. I think you should be able to smoke it at your job. Mm-hmm. People think you'd be less productive, but you would. Customer service will be so fucking better right. if you dealt with people when they high because Couldn't they be wouldn't be so aggressive. They they done took 100 calls, but when you high, you don't realize it's been 100 calls. Right. <laughs> right. You feel me? Yeah, you're, you're just doing your thing, thing, right? Yeah. 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 Like, uh, yes, I agree. I couldn't agree more. Call, really? Fuck, yeah. I realize yeah. that. Did yeah. you ever... um? Like smoke at jobs like when you're younger. Like I remember working at a McDonald's, uh-huh. and we I worked there for like three and a half weeks. And we would smoke <laughs> weed at the McDonald's like in the basement or whatever. Why you only worked there three and a half weeks though? I'm just that's a curious ass time. You didn't that get was too a, chick. Uh, well, it, this is a great story. I'll make it short. I played football. It mm-hmm. was during my senior year of high school. And I was playing football, and they wanted me to work at McDonald's and not play football. And I was like, no. Oh, fuck that. Yeah, so I played football in senior, senior Yeah, Mac, high fuck school. that. I'm not going to not play. Anything could happen. Yeah. Yeah, so not a great story, but that's what happened. Yeah. Well, I've I've never, I think ever since I was 25, I've never been on a job not high. Mm-hmm. I mean, I interview high, take the drug test high. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you know, yeah. they be like, you're such a great guy. I'd be like, because I'm high. <laughs> like, if I came in here and I had no weed, I'd be the worst guy. If I turned over foul cabinets, you'd be like, get this fucking guy off the property. <laughs> Listen, weed keep you from going crazy, man. Right. Weed relaxes you. When you worked all fucking day, mm. man, grinding on a soul-crushing job, mm. snatching the life force out you eight right. hours at a time, um, for you to be able to come home and just roll a fucking blunt and do you think that's like you what, do you think that's kid. why you started smoking in the first place though was for that? I think for me it was when I first started because it couldn't have been just Wu Tang, right? No, it it was more it it, it was the culture was what was going on. Yeah. It was like everybody was doing it, and I felt like, damn, I was twenty five, I've never experienced this. And I've started doing yeah. comedy at the same time. Okay, so you're being around, you're being around it more on accident, almost. Right? Well, yeah, because in the green room, my God, man, blood's all around before yeah. you perform. Yeah. So 
you know, just and then that was getting to you know know people like other comics, older comics, getting to yeah. kind of bridge that gap, being able to smoke with them, and I just enjoy it. I love weed. Yeah. I love how it makes me feel. I love that I can sleep after I smoke it. I love that I I enjoy my food better. Weed food have you made have, have you ever made random friends because of weed? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, you ever like, because you know what? Weed smokers will go in a dark alley, and if y'all both lighting blunts yeah. and smoking weed, you you're, will talk to a not, stranger you're in now a dark friends. alley. Yeah, you're now yes, friends. Yes, yeah. because you like, yeah, you like, he was in a dark alley. You'd be like, yeah, but he had some, he had some loud, though. Right. I mean, <laughs> only a great guy would be in the alley <laughs> smoking weed. Exactly, exactly, exactly. That's right, man. That's funny. I love, I love doing everything when you smoke. It's the difference is like when you start. How old were you when you start smoking? I was uh, thirteen first time I smoked weed. Uh, yeah. Wow. Yeah. Uh, so okay, so check this out. Uh, remember on the last episode I told you about the small town I was from. Yeah. It's like eleven hundred people, right? Yeah. So like there wasn't like a lot of trouble you could really get into. There wasn't really a lot of people, right? But there was always like a couple kids that were like shitheads kind of you realize years later right mm -hmm. so i was hanging out with those kids and like we we're on this bridge that used to be this old train track mm -hmm. and like we went up there and they had this little glass pipe right and some weed and we smoked that little pipe and i was all nervous i remember being real nervous right i feel like i was so nervous that my body wouldn't let me get high because i smoked that weed mm -hmm. nothing happened and i was like this is bullshit right so i didn't smoke weed again for like six months maybe mm -hmm. and then six months later is I went to this place called White Rock, which was like this river. Like I lived in the middle of nowhere, so people like go hang out in fields and shit okay. and by rivers, right? Uh, so I went to this place called White Rock, and everyone was smoking weed. And okay, so tell okay, so this is what I tell me if this is the difference between like Baltimore and where I grew up, right? Mm -hmm. Did you guys ever smoke weed with a pop can where you would like push the top in and poke holes in it with a knife? And poke a hole in the side and put the weed on the top of the pop can and then smoke it. No, that's a crackhead. <laughs> where I <laughs> <laughs> they smoking coke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> if yeah. I can be honest, if you went through that much yeah, yeah. trouble, you ruined in your life. That's just a in cocaine Baltimore, thing. Where you're yeah, from? You, it, yeah, that's a meeting and that's prayer. not just like a young people's bowl. No, no, okay. no, not at all. See, we see, grew up different. <laughs> see, that's the, see, that's the difference. That's the difference, like, in the inner city or, like, white people, black, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. because we always learn to smoke weed if you young, probably in an abandoned house. Okay. In yep. a rough-ass neighborhood, you mm -hmm. in an abandoned house smoking weed. Yeah. But, yeah, not on a bridge. That shit, like, I mm -hmm. could almost picture that shit because it's like a movie, like yeah. how some young white kids like on a, a bridge. Like a old bridge. Yeah, yeah, we like, but why? Yeah. Why so dangerous? Why are you on a bridge? <laughs> Why go somewhere safe? <laughs> who who brought the knife? Who brought the knife in the can? Why do you know this? Why? Like, I, yeah, black kids could have never. We had a can and a knife. I'm not what smoke weed. What? How? I got a can, a knife. I'd have never thought about that. Yeah, we nah. You smoke. You gonna start in an abandoned house? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So just for fun. Can I show you that bridge? Yeah. Okay, I'm about to show you that bridge, man. Here you go. This is the uh, weed. This is the bridge, guys. Joy, smoke weed for the right. first time. And you said you didn't get hot. Was it not good? Well, no. I guess you don't know if it wasn't good. Maybe um, you ain't hit it right because it was your it. first time. Was you passing it quick? Uh, I might have been. I don't actually know. I might have. You know what? Now that you say it, this is the first time I've ever thought about this, is I might not have been hitting it right. That's Who it. rolled that shit? Uh, it was actually um, a like a little glass bowl. Oh, a little. Right. Who the fuck had the bowl? You're a child. Who had a bowl? It was somebody who had like an older brother. Like you know when you like meet people and like their old their brothers are like a little bit older. Yeah, I'm concerned though. I'm still. <laughs> yeah. All right. Yeah. All right. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you. All right. Let's see here. Okay, man. I found it. This is the bridge, bro. <laughs> All right, Miles. You got me. All right, Russ, this is the bridge that I smoked weed on for the first time. Oh, my God. That looks like when you go get raped or something. Yeah, shit. dude, look it's that, that kind of bridge. bridge. Fuck. There was look a trail. How scary it is. There was a trail right here, and you would walk up the trail to the side, and then, like, right here on the bridge is where we were sitting. I smoked that weed. Thank God you made it safe. Good thing I'm here, right? Yes. <laughs> I wouldn't. 
<laughs> as a grown ass man, I'd be like, nah, I ain't going. Don't ever that. go near that bridge. Yeah. Right? Fuck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that the train? Was it like a trestle? Or just no. Like so, a- so like, uh, back in the day, like fifty years ago, there used to be mines, and uh, the trains that would pull the shit out of the mines would yeah. go over this bridge. But oh, they okay. pulled up the train tracks. It's like a snowmobile trail now in the winter. Oh, okay. <laughs> so like, there ain't shit on this bridge, but. That's the bridge, man. So that's the first place you got high. Yeah, that was first okay. place ever, man. First okay. Place ever. Yeah. That's that's crazy. Well, mine was in a basement. I don't have a picture of it, but again, it was in a row house of a basement. Yeah. It wasn't abandoned, but yeah, I was twenty five. Yeah. Yeah, just smoking. Man, weed is great. Mm-hmm. What do you think the best benefits of weed are? Um. You know what, man? Weed makes me like do whatever I want, kind of like. I really so I have this thing I call my dad disguise. So like I have a wife and a eight year old son, and like we go to we go shopping into malls, and like mm. I like I'm kind of like stone faced most of the time. And I probably look like I'm like a mad dad, mm-hmm. but, but what people don't realize is I'm just really high <laughs> all, all of the time. Yeah, you're just trying. To- yeah, so I'm just trying to play it cool. So I probably look like look at that dad. He's all angry. I'm just like really stoned. And I'm having a great time. Um, but like I'll be walking through the mall and mm-hmm. like. You know, just having a great time, man. You know what I mean? Just um, talking to random people. I like to talk to random people when I'm high. You know what I mean? So it's just like, it's for me, it's just like, a, it, it's just a fun way to like meet meet people and like get to know, like even us now smoking this weed. Like we yeah. could have done this episode about a million other things, but we're just like, we'll smoke the weed and we'll talk about the weed. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, see, now I get to know about do. like uh, you smoking weed in a basement in Baltimore yeah. and you see my bridge. And I saw your bridge. Oh, we done bonded man. like a motherfucker. That's what I'm saying. From, from the basement to the bridge. The weed works every time, man. The weed works every time. <laughs> yeah. I love the weed. It'll keep you in a bad situation sometimes, though. There's yeah. so many bitches I done messed with. You, I'm going to break up what I ask with. You. Like, <laughs> I don't know, though. <laughs> There's nothing special about it, though. She cool as shit, though. For real. <laughs> like, if you really think about it. She cool, but I'm sad she be tripping. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's like it, uh, the weed makes you nice in, yeah. in, in times where it's not appropriate to be nice. You ever get some good ass weed? What's the first question? The first question black people ask: yeah. You get some good ass weed? I don't know what. Where you get this from? <laughs> That's the first. Thing. Where you get this from? Hell What's yeah. the numbers on? What you talking? Yeah, that's the first shit. I love good weed. I love so you mean the house. numbers by like the THC numbers and shit? No, how much that shit cost? Oh, see, we learn it. Yeah. See, we learn it. So if I ask you like, yeah. so I ask like, yeah, yeah but so now you know, Jake, if yeah. you get some good stuff, like, yeah. where you get this from? Yeah. What's the numbers on this? Oh, I man. mean, how much it cost? Thirty five dollars for an eighth. Yeah, yeah that's, that's what I want to know. <laughs> okay, okay. See, see, I would fuck that up. I'd be like, bro, that's just thirty three percent. See, I just, dog. I start use, I just start using. The term eighth when I moved to Phoenix. Oh, do you know what good, we call like eighth no, in Baltimore? I, I would love to. A know. half a baby. We call. We, Why is it called a half a baby? Because it's half of a vic. What is a vic? Seven grams. Okay, what's what was, a whole baby then? Would a whole baby be a quarter? A quarter. Yeah. It's 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 a quarter. What was Michael Vic number? Seven. Seven. Yeah. Seven grams. <laughs> so we call that a Vic. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah, I would half fuck this of one a up. Vic is a up. half a baby. I don't really know why we call it a half a baby. Yeah. But we call it a half a everybody? baby. Yeah, if I, everybody. If, Baltimore, if you went like, to Baltimore, hey, you was yeah. like, yo, I need a half a baby. Yeah. yeah. They going <laughs> you gonna get three point five grams of weed. You know what I would get? Hopefully three. You know what I would get? Whole, what? I would get told I was the police. <laughs> They be like, you be like, I need a half a baby. They be like, officer, I don't know what you talking about. Fuck you talking about? <laughs> I don't know what the fuck you talking about, officer. Oh man, that's yeah. too funny. That is too funny. So, do you think weed helps your comedy at all? Um, like, do you use it as a tool, or is it just like a, a background part of your life? I smoke so much; it's just so ingrained in me and what I do every day. But it, what I can tell you, the. It, it helps you sometimes with your anxiety. Mm. Like the, the time, like when you're standing to go on stage and you're being introduced, I can't even uh, explain to you the amount of energy mm. that's flowing through you. You're being introduced. You're being 
told to all of these people that you don't know that you're competent at something. A man, how many people go to their fucking job when you walk in the door? You you work at a credit card company. You got a thousand fucking clients. Like this is customer service agency. <laughs> He is confident. He knows how to read billing. He is good at conflict resolution. This fucking guy will get you to the right person. No one does that. Yeah. But in comedy, that's your job. Yeah. So you're being told to all these people that, hey, I know you paid your money, but listen, I can justify it. Yep. This guy's coming up. So all of the energy, we kind of keeps me in a place, a safe place mm -hmm. where I'm up. For it, yeah. But I'm calm enough yeah. to not let the energy take me out my game. Okay. And it lets me relax, and I think it kind of lets me allow people to know who I am. What do you mean by that? Well, a lot of times we write jokes. Depending on the comic, you never really know the comic. It's okay. It's material. <clears throat> okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But sometimes when I'm talking to the crowd. Mm -hmm in a way that I would talk to you if I know you off stage. Mm -hmm. It's different. Okay. So you, I'm really, the crowd may not realize that you're really getting to know Russell. Like, you yeah. have no fucking clue. Yeah. I'm telling you some real shit right now, but I slid it in in the middle of my set. Right. So you don't realize that I've come out of my set and into reality, mm -hmm. and I'm sharing right now. Mm -hmm. That's the fun part of it. Like, I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I'm crying on the inside. Look at these bitches laughing. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to take a Percocet when I get off stage. <laughs> You know what I mean? But they're just laughing. Ah, good times, you motherfuckers. <laughs> you know what I mean? But this is why they came, so they don't even realize the transition. Yeah. And that's the beautiful thing about comedy. And I've had people walk up to me like, you know, hey, I just lost someone. Mm -hmm. You took my mind off of it for 40 minutes. Mm -hmm. That's like the gold in, in it, you know, even yeah. if you're not being paid 30,000 for that night. That's kind of the Yeah, yeah, you still get something out of it, right? Yeah. Yeah. You you kind of get something out of it. Yeah. So I like that's that, what man. I I I love that and we just it just makes you open like you said you talk to random people. It allows me to just open up more and kind of connect. So. Yeah. Okay, so I I actually I just thought of something out of out of nowhere, man. Okay. So are edibles a white people thing? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Okay. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Listen, let me tell you something. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Only white people have thought about fuck smoking it. I'm going to eat it and it's going to be better. No, listen, I'm rolling that shit up, putting it in a blunt. <laughs> You're not going to the hood saying a whole bunch of dudes. Like they got sunflower seeds, <laughs> eating edibles and shit. Like yeah. fuck no, that's white people shit. Like okay. that's how y'all like to yeah. get high. When was the first time you ran into edibles? Though? Was it out here? Yes, absolutely. No edibles in Baltimore at all. I had never heard of a fucking edible yeah. before. I'm like, you never even heard of it. No, I'm okay. like, eat what? Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah, eat what? Yeah, what are yeah, you yeah. talking about? Swap? Why would I swallow weed? Right. At the end of the day, why would I swallow weed? I, I burn it. That's why I have a lighter in these blunts. Right. I'm going to roll this shit up and set it on fire and <laughs> right. inhale it. Right. That's how people have been doing it for years. Yeah. Why the fuck are you changing the wheel? Who told you this was cool? Like, yeah, that's that's white people shit. I don't want no strawberry nothing. <laughs> okay. Like, yeah, I want to roll my shit up. Yeah, that's yeah. that shit probably give you cancer or something. I don't know why, what, what it is. People... I, why would we eat weed? Yeah. Okay. So when you got out here, did you try it? Yeah, I tried it. Yeah. I don't get. Sh I ain't get nothing out of it. I ate a whole pack of gummies. I went to sleep. Yeah. But that was it. Like I wasn't high though. Like I smoked three blunts. Yeah. You know what? That's kind of what it does to me now too. When I first started doing it, like mm -hmm. it was fun and shit. But now I'll take edibles and they'll just make me go to sleep. Like it could be any time of the. It could be ten in the morning and I'm yeah, still gonna go to sleep. It's phony. It ain't. Yeah. Yeah, I've and I've tried them all. I've tried them all. I've tried. Yeah, I don't even like the pens. You don't like the pens? Nah. I do like the pens. They're convenient. They get, I, no, they are convenient for work. Because, listen, can I tell you? <laughs> this is precious. Listen. So, at the Miles know about this. So, one day, I was having such a stressful day at work. Uh, you know them days at work 
Well, I don't know if y'all think like this, but this is how black people think, especially if you're from the hood. Especially, like, back in the 90s, you'd be like, yo, I'm about to quit and sell coke. Like, this shit. I'm about to quit and go just get me an eight ball and start from scratch. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, it was one of them days. I was like, yo, what the fuck? I ain't gonna get no eight ball, but I, I, this shit over. Mm-hmm. I, I went to the dispensary, rolled a blunt. I didn't care. I smoked that shit outside, walked straight in the office. Everybody came in and was like, oh, my God, smell like weed in here. I was, yeah, I was so high. Miles was like, <laughs> so I tried weed. I was like, I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I wouldn't care if y'all said leave. Listen, it was one of them days. Yeah. It was that or I'm going home. Yeah. It was one of them days. I wasn't complaining. No, I wasn't complaining. Listen, <laughs> listen Eric was like, you got some more. That's what <laughs> You got some more. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I just brought half a baby. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't know. I was like, yeah, I just got half a baby. That's all I got. You feel me? Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Man, weed is the shit. It re- is, it, and it does have some medicinal purposes, to be honest. Absolutely. I mean, I ain't even just throwing that out. We, you know, we talk. I'm yeah. just saying, but. I like to smoke, and I, I like a broad that smoke, like, because if you only smoke and she don't smoke, mm-hmm. I like a, sm- a bitch that can roll a blunt. <laughs> Dick get hard when it be tight, too. I'll be like, this bitch can roll it right. When she actually knows how to roll it? Yes, yeah. I'll be like, I'm going to stay with her. I'm going to stay with her. This bitch <laughs> so, so her... Her blunt rolling abilities would dictate whether or not. You oh yes, and you know she can suck a dick if she can roll a good blunt. <laughs> what is that? I ain't what never, is that? What is that? It's something about the blunt rolling and the licking skills. It <laughs> always translates to some good ass head. Yeah. I've never been wrong, if I can be honest. Yeah, I've never been wrong. Every girl that I know that could really roll a blunt, the mm. head was platinum plus. <laughs> <laughs> I'm be honest. I'm talking about letter of recommendation heads. You yep. just type us something up on the old typewriter. Yeah, it requires coordination. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Sp- talk- That's what I'm saying. People, Miles is right. Listen, people disrespect heads. Hands, spit, neck. That's what I'm saying. Y'all getting booty transplants. I want an extra bone in a bitch neck. <laughs> <laughs> Which you want. you imagine that? It's more flexible. That's what I want. Good head and weed. What I, I know, I know y'all love head though. You love head though. Do I love head? Yes. <laughs> I love getting head. Yeah, you I, know, I don't hate it. You know, there's never been a time in my life where I was like, I don't like this. I, sometimes the head's so good. You ever had a head so good you don't want to hit her? You'd be like, <laughs> yeah, I, absolutely. I, 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 I don't even want to hit her. I don't listen when a bitch when I get that Charlie horse uh-huh. when you curl your toes. You're like, bitch, I got a cramp, but don't stop. <laughs> yeah, that one. That's the one you don't care what she look like. They be like, why are you with her? You be like, listen, <laughs> don't even worry about that. You don't know who she is. You don't know what she's been through. Right. <laughs> Took a lot to get those skills. Yeah, I love her. I love them like that, man. Sweet girl, so talented. Love that shit, man. So talented. Too good. Perfect, Ugh. man. Well, listen. Thirty minutes coming gone. Damn, that quick. That quick. Thirty Happens minutes, every time. y'all. Already. Shit. Damn. Okay. Well, that's episode what? <sighs> Miles, what number are we on? Maybe three or four. Three, three four. Couple three. They're on the internet. I know that yeah. for sure. Yeah. But okay, so let's just say you watch this video in 2024. Mm-hmm. They're definitely gonna be on the internet. Yeah, they'll be on there. They're definitely, on there. Definitely, for sure. Yeah, for so sure. any day after today, they're on there. Mm-hmm. All right, man. Well, let's do it again next time. Good. I love y'all, man. Stay up. Keep coming for the open, honest talk. Russ Parham show. Holla at me. Yep. Don't forget, follow Russ on Instagram at Russ.Parham. Like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Make sure to set notifications so you don't miss sure. any of these videos. All right, we out. One.